Trey, Scott, the, the story across college uh, football is scheduling right now, and that's no different with the SEC. What's your favorite of the options that you laid out at Outkick.com of possible future schedule formats for the conference? I mean, I really, Chet, I like the 3-6. Um, I, I like the nine games because that leaves you with three somewhat, I guess, permanent rivals, and then you can rotate the six teams. And then, <clears throat> excuse me, there's a good chance that, you know, that you're going to get in different venues every other year. You know, compared to, let's just say, compared to the other model where, okay, you've got to have one permanent rival, and then they're going to find you, uh, you know, the other seven teams that you're going to be playing, you know, the, the eight game compared to the nine game. I think that, look, I, I think that overall, like, it, like and I, I take, for instance, like, um, you know, like Auburn, who plays, you know, Georgia, they play Alabama, they play LSU. Uh, you know, those are type of games you don't want to give up. Same thing can be said for Tennessee. Like, I, it would be very hard if you sat Tennessee down at the table and said, okay, look, in three years, four years, you've got to make a decision. Who, do, who would you like to keep on your schedule? Would you like to keep Alabama permanently? Would you like to keep Florida permanently? Or you want to keep Georgia? So if you go with the, the, the nine-game format and you're able to keep three permanent teams, Chad, you don't have to take that off the table. Whereas, whereas you know, the other model, in Tennessee's case, they might have to choose between, you know, Alabama, you know, or Florida. You know, and who they want. So I, I'm really liking the nine game. I, I, I have a feeling that that is the one, the model that's going to get passed. Um, you know, soon enough between these SEC athletic directors, presidents, and and football coaches when they all agree on it. And I think that's the model they go to. I think that's the one that actually makes sense out of out of the two. How long do you think the process is to sort out everybody's three? I. I <laughs> They've been talking about it. They've been talking about it for a while now. I think they're going to get more of a feel of it next week uh, in Destin starting on Tuesday morning. Um, and I think from there, um, we kind of get, okay, this is where everybody stands. Let's take a vote, you know, on where everybody would be at. Okay, you know, because it, it's got to be a majority here. And, you know, in talking to some folks, it kind of seems like it, it might be a little bit down the middle. When it comes to, to both types of scheduling, I think we're looking at, you know, uh, six months to a year before something definite maybe starts coming out. And maybe that's how they want to go at it. You know, my 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 perfect thing would be and Paul, you're going to love this. And I wrote about this the other day. <laughs> like if they do this scheduling thing and they and they do nine games, we need to have it like a FIFA World Cup draw where somebody gets up on stage and they have little ping pong balls and they open it up and they present the team and that's what schedule or that's what pod they put them in and that's who you're going to be playing. Like, we got to up the ante a little bit when it comes to the scheduling format. And the first thing that came to mind was the FIFA World Cup draw. <laughs> well, that show would get some ratings, that's for sure. So, 